Good morning, y'all. I don't even have my fire on under my skillet yet back there, but I'm going to come on here and talk to you just for a minute because I don't know if I'll ever get this recipe, a video made of this recipe, but I wanted to share it with you anyways. I'm going to post a link and tell you about this. What's going on out here this morning? Same old, same old. I'm behind as usual. I've got 101 things I want to do, fun projects and things I have to do. The garden's been plowed. So I'll need, we've got a 50 pound bag of potatoes sitting down in a cool spot down in the lower pantry. I need to get them out and cut those potatoes while Terry tills the ground. I need to get them dropped. We'll get them dropped and he'll cover them with the little cub tractor. <laughs> so I may not get this done today, but I'm going to try. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about it because it's that bread recipe that I told you was so good. It, it really is. But it's a, and it's called a Japanese milk bread, and it's from King Arthur Bacon. And I'm going to post a link to, to this recipe because I printed this one out. When did I? Oh, I printed this out in, in the 2021s when I started making this one. And, it, and it, I never made it like this before. And even Terry thinks it's better than the one that I've made for 30, 40 years. And what is it? It's Japanese, I can't pronounce these words, it's Japanese Hokkiena milk bread. A loaf so light, it's often described as feathery, and it is. It's a good bread. The technique to make it involves pre-cooking some flour and some milk into a soft paste called a tangzong. The simple, this simple step yields a loaf that's tender, moist, and stays fresh longer. Then loaves prepared the standard way. Bread made using the tangzong is far and away superior to the pre-sliced plastic wrapped loaves that you'll find on grocery store shelves. Trust us, once you bake and familiarize yourself with this loaf, you'll never want to buy sandwich bread again. Well, I still buy sandwich bread because it's quick and easy, but this is a is a good loaf. Now, let's see, it calls for, for a... This calls for some dry milk, and, and I don't keep dry milk on hand because I milk a cow and I get two gallons a day, so I have lots of milk. So I just kind of tweaked mine a little bit, and it's instant yeast that you mix with the flour. But anyway, you guys need to try it because I ain't, a, I ain't lying. It's a, it's a really good loaf, and I put mine in my KitchenAid to, to knead it so I don't do all the kneading. And you saw my loaves with the hole in it, so I didn't shape mine right, but it still tasted the same. So so I'm going to post this, and, and I'm going to try to do a video on it someday. But until I do, until I do, can you see Can you see it? I'm not sure if it's quick. This is the recipe, and I, I want you guys to try it. Because it's a good one. Now, there's a different recipe I use for cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and what is it? Does it have... It's got an egg, and it's got whole milk and butter. I've got some cream I need to separate and make some fresh butter. If we make this bread, we've got to have some fresh butter to go with it. Anyway, my good morning on March the 20th. The first day of spring is just going to be short and sweet. <laughs> short and sweet. Short and and. And, and and a bread recipe. All right, I got to get off here because, like I said, I ain't even turned my skillet on yet this morning. So I've got to go make breakfast because Terry will be back in from those long barn chores he has to go do. And we'll see. Millie's up at her house up with her mama right now. But if mama gets tired, I may bring her down here and we'll do something together. I, do, I don't know what my day is going to be. It's kind of life on the farm. You don't ever, you don't ever know. I know I'm a I'm a homemaker and I like being home and doing my stuff. But you know when you're a farm wife, you got to do man stuff outside too. <laughs> you gotta you gotta juggle and do everything. I'm a good farm wife though. You can ask my husband; he thinks I'm a good farm wife. I I gotta go start turn that skillet on. Bye, y'all. Love you.